The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good. Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to look at the German DAX. As you can see, we've had a beautiful Gartley there, but it's led to a question brought to us by Jeff over in Philadelphia. And the question is, when I come down to an ABCD, what do I refer to the first? The number of uh, 618 or whatever that Fibonacci number is, or do I take point D? Well, folks, uh, I've always relied on uh, uh, Albert Einstein. He said that numbers precede geometry, uh, something to that effect. And uh, so I try to go with the Fibonacci numbers itself. You'd like to see them both together. The one thing that could help is if you counted the bars between the AB and the CD leg, that can sometimes be very, very helpful. Uh, but basically, you're coming down to... A place where they're going to be very, very, very close, and uh, you know that's the I main. When, when I when I first started doing this with John Hill, folks, <laughs> way back in 1970, 71, I remember we were sitting at his house there in Hendersonville, North Carolina, out there at the ranch, and uh, we were at breakfast with his uh, lovely wife. Uh, making breakfast for us, and I was asking him a question, and this question, and that question, and he took out this napkin. Okay, and he put the napkin down on the, it was a black napkin. He put the, the napkin down and he said, okay, now look, he put some, uh, he put some pepper. Uh, it, was, it was, excuse me, it was a white napkin. He put some pepper on the uh, napkin, okay, and then he put pepper on the other side of the napkin and he drew a line between the two things. And I, he says, uh, I said, what's this all about? He said, well, he said, one of these is pepper and the other is fly shit. How do you tell the difference? And he said they were so close it didn't make any difference is basically what he was talking about. And he was true. It probably doesn't make any difference. But uh, always try to go with the number. That's what I try to do. It's not always the right way. Uh, by the way, pardon me for the uh, uh, the change in my uh, Catholic de demeanor here for a second. Let's take a look here at the uh, – well, hold on one second here. Here we go. This is the FTSE. Now, the FTSE is a totally different pattern. Now, you'll see since the 30th of November, we had a beautiful 135 pattern. You see the rising bottoms that we had and rising tops telling you the market was high. You made a big ABCD up to the top up there. You started to back off just a little bit, just like we have here. And that's all you've had. Now, all you want to do is to watch how much the back off will be. You see, each one of these moves has been very, very close to being equal. So it's just proving the fact that these markets repeat over and over again, but they don't do exactly the same thing. Now, folks, I have to admit that uh, I'm under a great deal of stress today, and the answer is I'm, I've had a, a tremendous – hold on just one second. I've got to get this up here. I've had a very bad physical injury this morning, and uh, I will tell you about it in just a second, but I want to bring out the chart that caused it. Uh, this is the one, folks. This is the euro. My physical injury is I'm banging myself on the head. And, and I mentioned it, that we had the perfect ABCD up there at the top. We bought it perfectly, had a little over $1,200 profit in it. And I said, I prefer to buy the 382 retracement and double the position and get out at break even if it fell. And you can see it fell. So that's why my injury is my head banging against the desk. So that's it. The part of the reason behind it, folks, is that we were having big profits in the S&P on the downside and also the fact that we had a nice big move in crude oil this morning that was uh, to the tune of about $1,500. So I thought it was going to be a hat trick kind of day, and certainly it was. So that's one thing. Now let's get back to the other one. Our Christmas present that we had yesterday turned out to be a, uh, a Grinch. This is it. I want to explain to you what I did wrong here. This is the, we were looking to sell the uh, ABCD here in the Apple up there at that 170, uh, 370. Now, folks, if, uh, if I'm correct on this, what I should have done is not risk more than three cents. 
Well, three cents on a hundred and seventy-five dollar stock is five dollars, so the stock should have been at one seventy-eight seventy, and I didn't do that. I I move I I tried to do it for a buck and a half, being cute, and uh, the market was still strong and it took us out. There's nothing wrong with the pattern or anything like that. It's just I put my stop in the wrong place, and I uh, I have to you know I'm going to go through when you, if you can't learn from your mistakes. You're not going to learn from anything. It's going to be making a lot of stakes in here. Uh, no price dates showing on that chart. Uh, I, I don't think there are any because I blew it up so that they could see. Let me bring it up again. But, uh, yeah, there's prices on there. What are you talking about? Look at the right-hand column there, Al. There's prices there. The dates aren't there, but the uh, the profits, you can see uh, – the 127 was 173.70, and the 1.618 is 168.70. Uh, so that's it. Okay, now we're back in business. We're rocking and rolling again. All right, let's move back to what the stock market's been doing here. Uh, we talked about this pattern here on Tuesday. Here it is Thursday. Let's get this up here. This is the Dow Jones. This is the E mini SP where we had a 412 high on the 5th of November. We came down, made a new high. Up there at 47.40, uh, we came all the way down to 45.40. We went right back up to 47.12. You'll notice that it was the exact same price that we were there. That made that a head and shoulders pattern because the distance between the head and the shoulder and the shoulder and the head are exactly equal. The market broke 40 handles yesterday, and we were on the air as it was making its low around 11 o'clock. I, I saved the chart because of the fact that uh, – it was at a really key level, and I was mentioning that this was an area where if you made some money on this, you want to you know, book in something, and look what happened. Uh, the AI program, uh, you don't get to see the bottom, but the bottom was exactly at the, at the exact low, right around 11.15, and we rallied the whole rest of the day, went up, uh, made a 78% retracement, and if you really want to, you know, to learn something, go to a 15-minute chart and – and, and look at the 15-minute chart, and you'll be able to see the 135, the declining tops pattern that we like to see. And we've got Mr. Z on the line. Mr. Z, how are you doing today, my friend? I, I'm doing very well. I've got some uh, Excedrin for you for that uh, head injury you uh, sustained. <laughs> <laughs> I bang my head on the desk so often it, it's more like not even a slight bruise anymore. No, I. <laughs> <I'm okay. laughs> uh, very good. Hey, I'm sorry you were just talking a particular market as I'm calling in. Why don't you finish the thought on that before I ask my question? Oh well, all I was saying is that uh, the ABCDs on this measure down today to uh, uh, forty six uh, seventy. The low is forty six sixty seven. We're having a little bit of a bounce today, so that bounce is going to be extremely important in both the Nasdaq, because the Nasdaq is really crazy, folks. You can see it goes up and down two hundred points like a like an accordion setting sideways. So you've got to be really careful with that Nasdaq. I, I stay away from that myself. Okay, Mr. Z, I'm ready for your question. Okay, sir. I uh, wanted to let you know first. Let's see. In forty five minutes. USD. Oops. Do I hear yep. music? We, or, I'm sorry. Yeah, this we have music on the street. Stay with us. We'll be right back with Mr. Z. 877 927 6648. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TESS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TESS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TESS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. We're talking with Mr. Z from Philly, and we're going to be talking about the March corn. Is that correct, Mr. Z? That's correct, Larry. In 45 minutes, the USDA comes out with its December WASDE crop report. Uh, so that is in 45 minutes. Uh, the USDA generally does not make any adjustments to the U.S. crop size estimates here in this December report. Uh, so that reduces one set of, uh, of uh, variables that could change. Therefore, it's more typically kind of a, um, a less volatile reaction report. Uh, that being said, uh, March corn, I wanted to ask you about this. Full disclosure, I'm still sitting on too long March corn from way back October 27th. I mean, frankly, back then on October 27th when I bought them, uh, I actually bought the D's, and I've subsequently rolled out a D's and into March. So I'm long from uh, 562 on that March uh, corn. We've gone three times, Larry, up to the 595 area and, yep. and stalled. When you look at the daily chart patterns, Larry, do you see any likely scenario looking ahead, you know, the next couple of weeks based upon the pattern you see on that daily chart? Well, I've, I've put in the triangle that you can see there with a pennant or triangle, whatever you want to call it, I call it a pennant. But uh, we're right at the 78% level as we closed last night. Now, we're very overbought coming into report. Now, would you like to know what the report's going to say ahead of time, uh, John? Well, if you've got Mr. Beeks sitting... Just, I have him. Clear, yes. Just a minute. Sarah, were you able to get Clarence Beeks on the line, please, from Washington? Yeah, the, the report's still being tabulated. We won't know until 10 minutes after the report, so you can't, help you. You can't help you on this one. No, I, if I, and I, I don't have a position in this. If I did, if I had to flip a coin, I would take the short side of the market because uh, I know it, it's right up against the 78% level. The problem is... If you're wrong, they're going to hammer you really bad. And so that's why I would do that. If it weren't a report, I would be selling it, but not not for that reason. I uh, I, I, I don't want to take the risk of 20, 25 cent loss. So uh, I don't uh, I don't plan to play. But my, my guess is that we're in 
strong resistance here. And even if the report's bearish, it's probably going to go back up again. Look at this strong, look at the strong accumulation here, John. There's nothing bearish about this corn chart. What happens, you know? Larry? I'm looking at your chart in Tiger TV. Thanks for that. I see you have the declining trend line off tops and a FIB 618 level, I think. Yeah, 592 is that number. <laughs> That's right where we are. Uh, yeah. So what if we get above that? What happens next? Oh, then it's... Well, it'll probably continue higher because, uh, you know, you got higher bottoms and higher tops. It looks like it wants to go higher. You know? Very good. That, that's, uh, that's why I'm holding on to that long. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, uh, I think I've got, what, uh, 20, 25 cent lead in it. Mm. Uh, that could, uh, as you rightly point out, that could uh, possibly be given up in the blink of an eye if something uh. funny comes at Oh, sure, that report. sure. But, um, uh, that's, uh, I guess that's what I'm gaming for, that scenario, uh, higher sort of thing. So, But I appreciate you sharing that. And um, other than that, I'll just share this with you. Uh, cotton, beans, and wheat, I'm, I'm going in flat, all of those, in, you know, through uh -huh. this report. So. Yeah, if I had to go in anything, I'd be long wheat, but uh, that's because it's been beaten up so bad from the from the high. But again, I, it's better to wait till tomorrow. It's safer, you know. Remember what Pasteur said: chance favors the prepared mind. So let's be prepared tomorrow or after the report and see where we can get there. Hey, uh, just one last question: uh, as you do your weekend chart work, uh, as you looked at the daily charts, the weekly charts. That high that occurred, well, I guess it's Tuesday, on March coffee up at 252. Yes. Was there, any, was there anything up there uh, in your few projections or other calcs that leads no. you to think that 252 is a candidate for a more important top? Well, it should, but I thought that high was going to be at 249. I didn't think it was going to get to 252. I don't trade... Uh, coffee, but I watch it because I know several people in the den do. But it, it that was an explosive move. I mean, it didn't happen. It happened so quickly that unless you had an order setting there, it didn't do you any good because it was up and down so quickly. And so that tells you that there was some strong resistance up in that area, but it went way above the one point six one eight, which I believe was right at uh, two forty nine fifty. And gee, it went through that like it didn't even exist. Did your weekly chart tell you anything about that level? I don't look at it that closely, John, but I tell you what I will do. When the break comes up here, I'm going to get that coffee up so we can take a look at it. We can all learn from something. How's that? Thanks so much. Um, I'm uh, in the saddle now for that USDA report. Appreciate okay. your time, Larry. And I'm sorry that Clarence was not able to help us time, but this time he'll be – this time next year, maybe he'll be with us again. Well, maybe he's off <laughs> with uh, the former senator of uh, Minnesota – uh, uh, in the doghouse, uh, uh, commiserating oh, yeah. together. So, uh, who knows? <laughs> okay, thanks a lot, John. Thanks okay, tonight. let's move. You bet. All right, we'll see what's going on here. All right, let's move on here for one other second here. We we'll hopefully have Stan Harley on at the break coming up here, folks, in just a little minute, in just a minute. But what I will do is during the break, uh, and I'm not sure we're going to be able to have Stan, so I will do the coffee, but Frankly, if I if I have to do the coffee now, there's no way that I can. Let's just get this. Someone's asking me a question here, and oh, Stan will be ready. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Did he send the charts in, Al? Tell me that. Otherwise, I've got to uh, get those up for for those. We'll get that without too much trouble. Okay, uh, I'm not going to be able to get that coffee thing. But what we'll do is, I've got that written down for tomorrow. Uh, to look at the coffee, and we will get that taken care of. But I remember it because the beepers went off so quickly, and, uh, you know, that's it. So we'll be able to – he's got everything ready. Boy, this is great. Stan's got all the charts ready to go and the whole bit, and we've only got uh, one minute to go to the break. So I will – I've got a note here to uh, cover the uh, uh, situation in the uh, – Stop the front door in the coffee. I'll have that done for tomorrow so we can learn something from it, why it did what it did, and we'll see uh, how that is actually uh, uh, working uh, through this part, part right now. So that's what we're watching here right now. I want to, I do want to show you something, folks. We've had a really big break in the old uh, the white metal silver 
it's a broken down very, very badly. I'll get this up here so you can see it here today. Now, gold's holding up relatively nicely, but the silver just does not have any friends right now. So I'm looking for a friendship uh, in the silver here. And believe me, I've got my eyes on it. I don't know if we're going to go down and take out the 2135 again, but uh, this is not a head and shoulders pattern, folks, because we're way below the left shoulder. We were there okay when it was trading around seven, uh, 23 and change, or 22 and change, but uh, not now. We're way below that. So that would would have been a failed head and shoulder. And look at this. This market can't even rally at all for five or six days after coming down. This is a bearish market. We'll be right back, folks, with Stan Harley, 877-927-6648. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have on the line, I believe, Stan Harley. Hello, Larry. How are you doing? Hey, above ground, living the dream. As always, my friend, how are you doing? Just doing awesome. Uh, I like that little story about the pepper. That's interesting. <laughs> it's a true story, actually. <laughs> anyway. How's your head feeling, by the way? Oh, uh, I'm used to it. I, I sort of, you know, I should wear a football helmet when I trade, because uh, <laughs> if every, every time I bang my head, I should remember. But uh, 
you know, as a, I just was really greedy. That that's basically I I was sure that that euro had made the major bottom, and if I bought that, uh, yeah, but it didn't work out. I didn't lose anything, but I uh, let some money get away, so that's the main thing. But it's been a good day, so I have no complaints. Anyway, <laughs> what what are we looking here on your first uh, S and P 500 cash index? It looks like we're making some type of a uh, bull run here. Or is this the end of it, or getting close? Well, this we've got four charts here today, Larry. I thought I'd, I'd okay. share with the audience. <clears throat> the first one is a yearly chart of the S&P 500 going back to the year 1600. Ah, that was before my time, but go right ahead. <laughs> before all of our time. Yes, that's um, for sure. I, this is a synthesis from the Foundation for the Study of Cycles, synthesizing okay. the Dutch market, the British market, and the American markets so that we have a composite synthesized S&P 500, and it's a log yeah. chart. Um, and uh, what I've done here is I've marked the major tops and the major bottoms over the last several hundred years. And I have at the bottom of the lows and above the tops, I have added numbers, which are in this data table up in the upper left-hand corner that are the multiples of Fibonacci numbers and Lucas numbers. So, for example, the 1932 bottom plus Fibonacci 89 years equals 2021. And then I've done the same thing for the 1929 top by adding two times the Lucas number 47. The bottom in 1842, the number 178, which is two times Fib 89, and so on. So, by adding all those numbers in years... So the major tops and bottoms, the average equates to the year 2021 for the next potential reversal point. Well, it's, we only got two more weeks in that. Hey, Stan, speaking of the foundation for the study of cycles, I think we should remind our folks that my good friend and your friend, Peter Elides, is going to be on December the 13th on at 12 yes, o'clock Eastern, I believe. And a few folks, you should pay attention to that because uh, I've known Peter for well over 50 years and no one, well, Stan has, but Peter's older and he's been doing it a lot longer. Have you ever seen his Torah of his charts of uh, how he carried the Dow Jones? He still has those, you know. Oh, yeah. He has the yeah. Dow Jones. I, I, he has the Dow Jones from the 30s on a, in a giant, like a Torah. And it, 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 it just rolls out. I mean, I think it's got to be worth a fortune. But uh, he still uses it. You know, it's just incredible if people can see it. I'm going to have Peter take a picture of it and uh, show it to the folks here because it's really incredible to see something like this. It really is. Yeah, I've known Peter. I've known Peter for a long time as well. Uh, yeah. He, of course, was a uh, a frequent uh, uh, desk anchor on uh, Channel 22 in Los Angeles many years yeah, ago. It sure was. Uh, sure was. You were on there. I was a frequent. Uh, uh, guest on the air on that on that uh, station yeah. in LA as well for many years. So yeah, we we've got yeah. some great memories of that time period. Um, <laughs> Boy, it, yeah. it was different. That's for sure. <laughs> it was it was different. Yes. Um, second chart here, Larry, for the viewers. This is an S and P 500 monthly chart. The last one was a yearly. This one is a monthly. And what I've done here is I have uh, going all the way back to 1960. I have noted each of the major tops since 1960. Starting to the left, we had a top in February of 66, January of 73, and so forth. Uh, every single one of these tops, every single one bar none, has been separated by a time span between 74 and 94 months. The regression modeling calculates a cycle of 83 months, just under seven years. I call it the seven year cycle, it's close enough. And the regression analysis computes the next ideal turning point in that cycle, November, 2021. Wow. <laughs> December. A, that's when the hot, so well that, that. What it's that, telling that, us is the next yeah. peak in the seven year cycle is due now, now. Yeah. Well, we're uh, going to be watching. The third you've, been, chart. You've, been bullish for a, you've been bullish for a long time on this one. This is the first time you've really got the uh, the cautionary flag out. We won't call it a surrender flag, but uh, the cautionary flag is certainly out. And, boy, we're having volatility that is off the charts. I mean, it's even greater than it was in, you know, the 2008 bubble for sure. 
Larry, I am wearing, waving the caution, cautionary flag. Uh, the yearly data, the monthly data, are all suggestive of a significant top in the present time frame. Let's look at the weekly data. Take it down one notch. Um, okay. This is the weekly data going back to 1982. And what I've noted here are the major peaks as, as emanating from a uh, what's called a um, price shock, the crash low of 1987. Uh -huh. So if I go forward okay. in time, approximately 644 weeks, which is two times the Lucas number 322, and so uh -huh. on, these numbers here in, in brackets are double the Lucas counts, and they line up very nicely with the peak thus far in November of 2021. Um, wow. Everything is suggestive Boy. of the present time frame, the, the yearly data, the monthly data, the weekly data are all suggestive of a high right in the present time frame. Um, here is the daily data. Of course, we're now just a few percentage points off the November high. Um, on the daily charts, I can make the case for either the high is in the rearview mirror or it could come within the next uh, couple of weeks, say just ahead of Christmas. Uh, um, okay. My message here is we are right in the heart of the envelope. What I think could be uh, a, certainly a seven year cycle top and very possibly a uh, 94 year cycle top as well. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty, big, uh, pretty big statement coming from you, Stan, because you have been super bullish since you've been on this show for the last couple of years. And uh, even when people were saying that was the end, you'd say far, far from it. But this is the first time uh, in recent memory that you've actually, and the numbers and the patterns line up with it. That's what's so interesting. So it's going to be uh, going to be an interesting few weeks, I think, to look at, don't you think? I do indeed, Larry. I yeah, do indeed. That's for sure. Listen, Stan, uh, one of the questions that we're having here from someone on the uh uh, on the air here is can you become a member of the financial uh, foundation for the study of cycles these days and I think you could probably answer that better than me because I've been sort of grandfathered into that stuff so uh, do they do they have memberships available they, 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 they do um, yeah one only one can can go on the website just type in foundation for the study of cycles and in the search bar it should pop right mm -hmm. up and uh, the, by going through several of the menu prompts, one can one can certainly uh, join, and they have a uh, uh, a very nice cyclical analysis tool that all members can can employ. Okay, all right. Hey, listen, buddy. Thanks for being on. I want to wish you a merry Christmas. We'll have you on right after the first of the year. Okay, pal. Thank you so much. Look forward to Thank it. Thank you, Stan. Stan Harley, Harley Stock Market Letter, folks. We'll be right back with Mr. Z and the coffee. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at tfnn.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, I posted the weekly chart of coffee, and you can see that's just been in a vertical move to the upside. But the second chart that I posted is the daily chart of March coffee going back to October. Now, you'll notice that the high that we made here uh, three days ago, that was a 1.27 expansion of the 382 retracement that we had at $2.30 a pound. In other words, it went from 230 a pound up to 252 a pound. That was the exact 1.27, and it took one, two, three, four, five, six days to do it. Okay. Now, let's humor each other and go over. I'll take off my 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 uh, football helmet. Go over to the uh, left hand side of the chart. Okay, and you'll see on October the second, the market made a high at around 207. Came down very, very sharply to 190 and then rallied for one, two, three, four, five, six days exactly to a 1.27 expansion. And from there, it went from 214 all the way down to 195. So that's the only similarities. The similarity is there, but the fact that it made the 1.27 uh, was probably pretty good. Now, I was looking at it. Uh, from a weekly basis that it could get up to 264 and it certainly could get there but you're seeing since that time we've gone from 252 we've broken down to 240 the last correction that we had however went from 247 down to 230 so it dropped 17 cents a pound well 17 cents a pound coming off of 252 takes you down to 235 okay 235 is a 78 percent retracement of the low that we made back on the 29th so this is a bull market you could buy it at 235 not risk more than two cents and uh it should work you know it's just a probability that's really it, what it's all about i uh that's the best way I can describe it, more than more than anything else I can describe, that's for sure. <laughs> Let's move on to uh, a couple others. I covered the silver. Uh, folks, uh, you know, I, I bring a lot of stuff to you here. You know, some of it works, some of it doesn't, but that's true of everything. I read something really cool today from Peter Brandt. He's been around. We're the, we're the same age. We've been around for a long time. He's a, he's a lot more famous than I am, but he has four rules. Rule number one is, uh, like Warren Buffett, you know, don't take losing trades. Number two, uh, don't break rule number one. And then number three was uh, pay attention to what the market is trying to tell you because you think you might know what's going to happen next, but you, in fact, do not know that. I say that all the time here that, you know, I don't know where it's going. And, folks, I really truly mean that when I tell you that. I really don't know where it's going. The one thing I do know is I know how the path to get to that point might be and how much you have to risk to get on that path. That I've spent a lot of time learning. But to someone that tells you they know what's going to happen next, get that get that uh, pepper and, uh, and the uh, napkin out and show them the difference between, uh, you know, the uh, – 
uh, <laughs> mouse poop and and uh, pepper. That's that's really that's really what it's all about, folks. It's about it's about the amount of risk that you gotta land on to to get there. And you know these patterns are they're very predictable. They they uh, not only that but they're repeatable all the time. So they give you some type of an edge. But just perfect example today was the euro. I was totally convinced. Why would I not be totally convinced? I'm sitting there. And, and I'm joking. Well, I'm not joking about it because it bothered me. I had several people say, "Why didn't we take profits up there at that level?" And my and my my answer was, "I'm shooting for something a lot bigger because I thought that the bottom that was there and this bottom might still be there, except this correction went a lot farther than I thought it was going to do. I have no control over that, so I've got to look at I've got to look at the uh, euro again and try to enter again where I don't have to risk very much to see if this trend is still going in my favor." You know, so that's it. When you ever hear me say 100%, run away. I mean, don't even don't even think about it. Just shut the door, turn off the machine, and run away. If you ever say this can't lose, because boy, I've been there, done that, and that's that's not a way to uh, to operate a business for sure. Now, there's been a market that we've been very bearish on for some time, and I always talk about this, the importance of this pattern, and I'll bring this up to you right now so you can take a quick look at it. Uh, hold it. Uh, Bo's saying, do I ever develop a POV? I don't know what POV means. Uh, I wish I knew what POV means. Bo, you have to give it to me in English, buddy. I don't know. Uh, point of view. Point of view. Ah, oh, you guys in the computer. I bet you he, need, I bet you he knows what BTW means, by the way, and BR. Be, be right back or, or bathroom break. Okay. All right. Let's hold on just a minute here. Uh, okay. One second here. Okay. Here is the treasury bond market, folks. Look at these little red lines. You see the, these are 382 retracements, folks. That's what those are. That's all they are. Uh, largest, mar largest trading volume market in the world other than treasury notes. And uh, the darn thing, when, the, when those things start to work, it really gives you a heck of a good move uh, to uh, see if it's going to uh, to uh, work or not. Now, also, we are really working hard to try to find a really good entry point in long natural gas because uh, what we're doing today is – I'll just get this up here. This is a, an early morning view of what the market was doing in the natural gas. But we are very close to the, to the breakdown. You remember the breakdown occurred on Sunday night when we gapped down – Below uh, 399, we opened at 395 and went all the way down to 366. We're now trading at 384, and I think that that market has got a chance, but it's got to do a little bit more work in here, folks, because it's done a considerable amount of damage by gapping down like that and now taking a whole week to fill the gap. I mean, that that also is uh, interesting. There's another one that we really need to pay very, very close attention to because it's not acting very well from a technical standpoint, and that is our friend from the old Chris cryptocurrency uh, uh, values, uh, which is Bitcoin. You'll notice here that the uh, we made a 382 retracement. That was from the one way back on 28,000. 28, but the problem is, is that we're only we haven't even been able to rally a 382 off of the high yet, and that's that in itself is not a very good sign. Uh, I'm waiting to see that that number comes in at around 54, no 52, right around 52,000 in Bitcoin. Because if we get above that, then it might have some type of a chance to do it. But right now, it's acting extre extremely bearish. So, and and I would love to see a big washout in the cryptos. You know, like it's done several times, four times now since they started trading in 2012. Now that's the legitimate part, I guess, when Bitcoin was 100. Wow, can you believe it went to 67,000? Shut the front door. Anyway, um, this is this is a real deal, these cryptos and tokens and stuff. Don't know what it means. All I know, the big boys are in there. And if the big boys are in there, they wouldn't be there if it weren't real money. So uh, you have to, you know, they're not, they don't fall for these tulip bulb things very often. So there's something there. And we got to pay attention to it. Starting in this new year, I would be doing it probably looking at one crypto a week. 
and they're they're tradable, you know, and stuff. But uh, they're going to be interesting to watch. And hey, I stand corrected. You know, maybe it is uh, uh, a, a, bubble, a bubble, a bubble of some strength. It would be the greatest of all time. It would be bigger than the tulip bulbs. And I I don't know if you know this, but one tulip bulb that you could have bought for two dollars would have bought a house two years later. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to Bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and Mr. JR up in the old Northwest is asked a question, do I ever look at comets and stuff like that with the regard to the market? No, I don't. Uh, they're so rare that uh, you know I just don't know anything about it. I do have a good comet story, though, here in Tucson. Uh, about 25 years ago after I moved here, there was a thing called the Hale-Bopp Comet, uh, named after the dude up in Scottsdale, Phoenix, that from the University of Arizona that discovered it. And this comet would come out every morning from 2 to 4 in the morning in the night sky and scream across just like it was a, an animated cartoon. It was the most spectacular thing. And I had these beautiful Zeiss binoculars that I got as a gift. And they, they, boy, they were really fantastic. They had night vision and everything. So I would go out there and uh, set up a little tripod and sit there for half an hour or sometimes longer just watching it streak across the sky 
in with its fiery thing, and you could see it, you know, so clear in the in the telescope. It was uh, or the binoculars. I mean, I can imagine what a telescope was like. But one one morning, but I think I was there three or four times. It was the last time I was there, by the way. I'm looking at this, and I see the car pull up behind me uh, on this little ridge. What I was looking at, not paying too much attention to it, and then I hear the loudspeaker come on, drop that gun. And it was a sheriff thinking I had a gun. I'm sitting on the, I'm holding it on the top of the car. And uh, he said, drop that gun. And I just raised my hand. I said, it's not a gun. I won't say what I said, but I said, it's a telescope. I'm looking at that comet. He, this is what comet? I said, the one that's flying over your head over there. And he looked around, oh, my God, what is that? Anyway, that that ended my uh, my uh, my. Uh, career of looking at comets i was a little bit a little bit flustered but anyway made it through okay but uh that's neither here nor there no i don't do anything with comets both i keep this stuff so simple that i i, I you know I, I just repeat this stuff the same thing every day i i enjoy repeating it i hope you like the repetition because repetition is the mother of knowledge and the soul of invention said by mr henry ford anyway tomorrow we're going to have hopefully alfie lavoy as our guest doesn't look like uh, mr denapoli is going to be able to make it but hopefully we're going to have alfie lavoy on and we'll see you all on the flip side tomorrow and may god bless 